Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about a specific hormone. Yes, plants have hormones. I have hormones, I have testosterone, and I have a little bit of progesterone and estrogen as well too. But that's okay. I am proud. Plants have hormones. There's a bunch. This one we're going to talk about is called auxin, A-U-X-I-N. You've probably all heard about this phenomenon before, the idea that when plants are growing, the stems will grow towards light. I bought some vegetables the other day and it's the kind of vegetable where it comes with a little pot and I can grow it. I cut it off to eat it, fry it up with some garlic and then I add some water and then leave it there and it starts to grow again. And lo and behold, when I come home after school, uh, these stems, the shoots are actually facing, they've turned to face my window and that freaks me out. So I turn it around, go to school. Next day when I come back after school, they have turned and they keep changing direction based on where I put my window or where I put the plant relative to the window. So not such a hard thing to understand and it's a good experiment to set up. Like I said before, you can set up very simple experiments like this or you can raise their complexity and actually you know, measure the angle. Uh, you can vary things like the intensity of the light, the direction of the light, you know, different amounts of time exposed to different angles of light as well too. So you can do all kinds of things uh, with an experiment related to phototropism. So what we want to understand is a little bit about the mechanism, how in the world that actually works. Are little hands coming from my window light and pulling the plant towards or is there something else that's actually going on? So there's quite a few vocabulary words here. We're going to talk about gene expression. We're going to talk about efflux pumps. We're going to talk about auxin. We're talking about hydrogen ion concentrations, cellulose. So don't get scared about all of this. Try to put it together into one big story. And this actually links many different parts of the syllabus together. So if you understand this concept fully and deeply, um, you should be able to find some good uh, links to kind of see the bigger picture of what's going on in biology using this phenomenon as an example. So auxin is a hormone that's considered to be a growth promoter. So we're going to revisit this several times here, so just bear with me. So what basically happens is when the light's coming from this direction where my cursor is right now, um, we expect this thing to turn and start growing towards the light to the right, right? Okay, so what basically happens is there's a hormone and the hormone actually starts concentrating in an area that's away from the light. So if the light's coming from this direction, this auxin hormone starts to accumulate over here. And there's actually little uh, protein pumps that help the auxin get through. But let's just assume the auxin got through. Once the auxin is in there, it's going to start affecting those cells that are on the opposite side. And how it affects those cells is it messes with genes and it says, hey, Certain genes need to be turned on and other genes need to be turned off. So we're, we're calling that um, messing with gene expression. And so as a result of certain genes getting expressed more over here, what happens is protons or hydrogen ions get secreted more. And the more hydrogen ions there are, the, the more loose the cellulose fibers actually become. So if you think about that, what that means is the cellulose fibers are normally keeping the cell wall pretty tightly uh, held together. And when you loosen that, it allows it to stretch out a little bit. And if it stretches out a little bit, then you can see if you compare the cells on this side to the cells on this side, is these cells start to expand a little bit more. They start to elongate more than these because the walls here are being weakened or loosened by the presence of these hydrogen ions. These ones don't have that extra hydrogen ion concentration, so they stay uh, nice and firm and tight, but these ones expand more. And so it's simple physics. If this side doesn't expand more, while this side does expand more, then this side is going to start to elongate. And if this side does not elongate, then it's going to start to turn. If both sides elongate at the same rate, then it's just going to grow, grow straight up. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Auxin is a hormone that accumulates on the dark side, the dark side. When it accumulates on the dark side, it causes gene expression to change. The hydrogen ions get secreted. That causes the cellulose fibers to become weaker in their connections. And this part can actually stretch out and elongate a little bit more. So I'll have this written down in the next two slides so you can uh, take your time and go through it a little bit. But come back and listen to uh, that long story that I just told. So the cells start to expand here and then it starts to turn. If the light source gets moved to the other side, then the exact opposite thing happens, but this time the auxin is going to accumulate still 
on the dark side over here and it's going to cause the hydrogen ion secretion change in gene expression uh, hydrogen ion uh, secretion did i just say that causing the cellulose fibers to weaken and then it starts to expand the other way as well too so we call this idea of phototropism which means growth towards or away from light in this case uh, the stem is considered to be positively phototrophic which means it actually grows towards the light a negatively phototrophic is what i am in the morning when i wake up and i see the light coming through my window i tend to crawl to the darker spaces under my blanket and in my bed so that's a stupid example but i guess you can tell i'm not a morning person negatively phototrophic don't write that down in an essay Okay, so that's a quick diagram showing that. Uh, let's take a look. Here it is in kind of more boring word form, but uh, there are these little pumps that I mentioned earlier. They're called auxin efflux pumps. They're the pumps that are actually able to move to the dark side. And when they move to the dark side, it allows auxin to get through to those cells that are on the dark side. Once the auxin gets through, the auxin binds to certain genes it promotes transcription of certain genes which changes the pattern of gene expression here we go again the hydrogen ions are secreted into the cell walls causes the cellulose fibers to become loosened and the cells are basically expanding so if you want try to pause the video look at these diagrams one two three and four and try to figure out where auxin is accumulating where hydrogen ions are actually accumulating and where the cellulose fibers are actually uh, expanding as a result of these changes in gene expression and one more slide to take a look at that's the same thing here here's an example of what that efflux pump might look like just super simple diagrammatic form and the idea is that the auxin will go in uh, to those particular cells and will bind with a particular gene or in this case it binds with a protein called an auxin receptor that can then go and bind to literally the DNA and then turn on certain genes and that's going to cause hydrogen ion secretion and then all these things right there. So try to turn it into a bullet point diagram or a step-by-step -step thing. I think in the future I might add something like that where you have step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six to show what's actually happening. So put all these words together. You've got auxin, you've got phototropism, you've got efflux pump, you've got hydrogen ions, you've got genes, you've got auxin receptor, and you have gene expression and tropism and positive phototropism and all these things. Put them together in a big story. Um, one of the important things, especially for you higher level biology people out there is to understand that genes can get regulated so we have genes and we know that some genes get turned on and some genes get turned off depending on what type of cell you your function is supposed to be but this idea of regulating gene transcription is a really really important concept and it's why we can function as a multicellular organism with you know hundreds of different types of cells each doing different jobs so that's some pretty crazy stuff so think about it next time when you buy vegetables and you grow them at home